Everyone, welcome to the show. So I have an update for you already on that Marjorie Taylor Greene story that I shared with you guys about potential campaign finance violations. As I shared just the other day, uh, right-winger Milo Yiannopoulos used Greene's campaign credit card to purchase a domain name for Kanye West's campaign. And he spent over $7,000 on this purchase. And then the same day, the West campaign paid him over $9,000. So this put Green in a bind legally because she could be held liable for making an unlawful campaign contribution to West. Well, Yiannopoulos, as you might recall, he dismissed the whole thing. He said it was a mistake, that his staff made a, a mistake using the wrong credit card. You know, the numbers were similar. He said the whole thing had been rectified. He indicated that he had either personally refunded the money or that GoDaddy had refunded Green's card. So no harm, no foul. Well, Green's campaign manager just told Rolling Stone magazine, quote, Congresswoman Green knew nothing about the gross negligence made by a vendor and is being unfairly attacked as a result. The campaign was told the purchase was refunded. This wasn't the case. So it sounds like Green is trying to blame GoDaddy for failing to reimburse the money, which is a joke because GoDaddy just doesn't pick a credit card and bill you. It, obviously, someone chose her credit card in their system. That's the way it works. And, you know, if that's the case, let's say someone did reach out to GoDaddy and said, hey, there was an error made. We need you guys to refund this and then we'll pay for it with a different card or we need to, you know, have it transferred to a different card. There's going to be phone records, right? Or there's going to be emails showing that a request for a refund was made. There could even be a recording. A lot of companies record customer service calls. So I just find it odd. It is just odd that Green's campaign is just now, after seven months and after numerous media reports on this, finally, now they're questioning it. Now they're questioning why they didn't receive a refund of more than $7,000. You know, at the very least, it seems like they're pretty irresponsible with their donors' hard-earned money. Again, as I said the other day, color me skeptical. I have a feeling we're going to learn more. So anyway, guys, um, you know, if this was GoDaddy's error, which again, it's not the way it works. I've made purchases on GoDaddy before. They don't automatically just use whatever credit card they want. You make the purchase. You choose which card to use. So it was either, as Milo Yiannopoulos said, and it was an error made by one of his people, and this whole thing has been rectified, or it hasn't. According to him, it was taken care of. She's saying no, it hasn't. It hasn't been. So it just seems sketchy. Anyway, I'll keep you updated. Um, God, it would be nice to get rid of her. <laughs> it would be so it would be such a blessing for all of our ears with that nasally voice of hers, that high me, yap, me, yap. I just can't take. Oh my God. It's like an assault on my eardrums every time she opens her mouth. Anyway, guys, I'll let you know if I hear any more. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Love you guys. Take care and I'll talk with you soon. 